What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna to talk about Tesla and the company's business model from a high level and why I believe they're so different than every other legacy auto company and really what makes them so exciting, at least for me personally, from an investing perspective. So when I think of Tesla's core business model, you know, a lot of people compare them to, oh, this is a car company, they just sell electric cars um, and we be- we must model their financials and value them just as if they were a car company. The problem with, with doing that is you're putting Tesla into this box. And this is a problem that I see with, across all of Wall Street or just in general, investors love to put, oh, that's an oil and gas company. I'm going to put it in this box with this business model. Oh, Amazon, that's just an online bookstore. We're going to put it in this box with this business model. You know, that used to work, but now these technology companies are so fundamentally different in in the way they're using their technologies to impact a variety of different industries, uh, release a variety of product and services that may seem not obviously connected, um, but really, if you dig deep into it, have, uh, you know, this broader underlying theme and vision. And so Tesla's um, if you look at their mission of a company, it's to sustain, it's to um, accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. So this is a huge mission. And if you think about almost everything in our world, you know, runs on fossil fuels, that most of the cars on the street, every single car that's not electric, you know, your home's electricity, um, your home's heating, the energy that is produced to power farms that grows the food we eat, all the energy from this is predominantly sourced from fossil fuels. Tesla at its core really is an energy company. And that means they're attacking all of those things I just mentioned in some way or another. And so when I think about Tesla, the biggest sort of analogy or, or simple way to boil it down, what gets me so excited is this Tesla flywheel, this three-part um, system around Tesla, which all revolves around energy. Um, you know, everything in their business is is a product that somehow relates to energy, and I lump it into three different buckets. We have first the products that you all know, the cars, the Model 3, the Model S, the Model X, you know, the semi-truck eventually, the Model Y in the future, um, the Roadster 2.0. All of these, which, you know, seem like cars and our cars are also products um, or just things that consume energy. So I lump those into the energy consumption part of the flywheel and and sort of the core underlying theme with this flywheel is also going to be batteries. And so all of these cars are built on top of this battery architecture that that allows them to consume energy. Just a side note of why I think batteries are such an interesting technology is because unlike the internal combustion engine cars, you know, when you have a car that fills up on gas, the only way to recharge that is with fossil fuels and gasoline. If you have a battery, you know, anything could charge that battery. It's a platform that's open to innovation for as the grid improves or as, you know, our ways and, and technologies come up with new ways to produce energy, those can simply be charged into that same battery ecosystem. So the battery is really a platform for the cheapest or most sustainable form of energy we can produce, and it's not locked into any one technology. So I think that's awesome. But anyway, back to this flywheel. The second thing that I wanted to highlight here is storage. So this is um, battery storage, uh, energy storage products, which you may know as Tesla's Powerwall, which can go into your house or home to store energy, or these massive power packs, which is essentially power walls linked together, huge batteries. Um, these are more for grid st- scale utility customers, like the massive battery project that we saw in Australia uses Tesla's power wall. And this is a product that stores energy. Now, the next piece of the flywheel here is energy production. And this is another piece of Tesla's business, which is way, way earlier than the consumption part or even the storage part. But this is the things like the solar roof or their solar panel business. You know, these are products that that allow you to produce energy in new ways. And so although Tesla's, you know, attacking all these different things, they're really hitting the trifecta of the way we consume energy, the way we produce energy, and the way we store energy. And why I think this is such a big opportunity is because this flywheel, we're just so, so early in getting started. I mean, you don't even have to crunch numbers or or, or look at any numbers to to see how massive an opportunity this is. I mean, go outside. Every single car um, that's consuming energy, almost every single thing that consumes energy is burning fossil fuels, not doing it sustainably. And so if you think that has to get remade, then Tesla is ready to disrupt that industry. And that's why it's so hard to value them. And that's why I believe the market does value them at around 50 or 60 billion, just like Ford and GM, despite them selling way less cars, A, because they're still growing like crazy. And so the growth in that car business needs to be accounted for, but also because this isn't just a car company. They are already selling batteries and they are already doing over a billion dollars in revenue from energy generation and storage. And we're just scratching the surface. I mean, if you believe 
believe that every single way we interact with energy has to get transformed to something sustainable, you know, that's what Tesla's mission is, then that's a product they will eventually attack that this flywheel will eventually hit. That's why when I talk about things like electric planes and electric boats, I mean, get when you when you drop when you fly on a plane, it's burning a ton of gas, you know, that's a way that we're consuming energy that's not sustainable. If we want to, you know, ship things on a massive cargo ship to China, you know, those are burning diesel or fuel which isn't as sustainable. And so anything that either consumes, produces, or stores energy is ripe for disruption from Tesla. And so this is a flywheel that gets me so, so excited and really just shows you how early we are in the company's disruption because there's so many ways we interact with energy that are not sustainable. And so um, I hope that made sense, but from a super high level, this is what gets me so excited about Tesla is, you know, I, I made a video with my financial model for the company showing, you know, my expectations for revenue and profits. And pretty much all of that was just from the car business, just from the, you know, consumption just from en products that consume energy. I get equally excited about our uh, the opportunity to reinvent the way we store energy with batteries um, and how that will reshape the grid and additionally how we'll produce energy with solar panels instead of fossil fuels. And so there's just so many different ways um, that Tesla's you know new energy economy and new energy system is going to disrupt and will disrupt um, all these established industries. This company has the potential to get so much bigger and why they're really not a car company. They're an energy company at their core. And what ties all of these components together as sort of the underlying fabric that I think is like the secret sauce of why Tesla's better than at this than anybody is software. The relationship of how batteries and software work is fairly complicated, but there's a ton of battery management software, which is sort of Tesla's secret sauce that's always controlling and optimizing, you know, the charge rates, the, the flows in between the battery cells, et cetera, um, which is, you know, incredibly important to increasing the efficiency and longevity of those batteries. And so Tesla is a company at its core that leverages software to perfect energy storage, consumption, and production across its product lineup and, and package that into one neat thing for consumers, which is this beautiful, sustainable, smart home and transport system that you see in all these beautiful pictures, you know, with the, the car parked in the garage, charging the battery with the solar panels, et cetera. Like this is an incredible future that is reinventing um, how humans interact with energy. And, and, you know, for hundreds of years or a hundred years or so, we've been relying on this fossil fuel system, which is ready to break. And so tying this back to like my last thought is, you know, the bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. That's the way I look at investing, life, entrepreneurship, just everything in general. And so the, the problem of us transitioning off of fossil fuels at the fastest rate possible to reduce carbon emissions, to mitigate the impact of climate change um, is super, super important. And that's an incredible problem that we're facing right now. But the company that's attacking that has a huge opportunity to reinvent um, energy consumption, energy storage, energy production. And that is a multi, you know, I said I wasn't going to say numbers, but that's like a multi-trillion dollar market, a several trillion dollar market. I mean, the car market, the it, and just everything is about to transform to something sustainable. And I see Tesla, you know, I don't, I never saw a vision of this sustainable future before Tesla came around, you know, they're the company with the entrepreneur, Elon Musk, who has the why behind the company. He has a mission to do this. Um, he, and, and like, like they're just building out their vision. So that's why even on a different note of why don't, when, when you see other, you're like, oh, why can't other companies do this? Why won't other companies compete? Like, sure. Tesla's going to see a ton of competition along the way. In fact, I would argue they've already permanently inflected the way we consume energy for transportation from fossil fuels to electrification. And that's why when the electric cars used to be a toy for rich people are now inevitably the future of the industry, that change in mentality in, for the mainstream was driven single-handedly by Tesla. And so now we're slowly seeing all the dinosaurs start to copy and scramble to try and replicate Tesla's business model and success because they've clearly shown the future of energy consumption. I think we're just scratching the surface of the way they're going to do that with energy storage and then production. It's all happening. It's all going to take time, but this is the huge overall overarching thesis of why Tesla as an energy company will transform humanity from going from something that burns fossil fuels to something that relies on renewables and in doing so has the opportunity to create a trillion dollar company. That's what gets me excited. It's about investing in a company that's not only making the world better, not only building a future that I believe in and want to be a part of, but that is attacking a huge, huge business opportunity. Um, and this is the flywheel of, of when you think about why did Tesla release that product? What are they doing next? What, what's their plans going to be? I, I've at least what helps me is thinking about the energy flywheel and how it's expanding. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Hope you liked the episode. Definitely let, let me know what you think in the comments below. Huge shout out to all of our Patreon supporters and fans. I'm going to do a merch giveaway randomly to a Patreon soon. So you probably want to sign up for that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.